A few days ago, I made a video about a new DJI firmware release for their version 2 goggles that locks you out and means that you can't roll back to previous versions of the firmware. And everybody's a bit suspicious about what DJI's motivation is for this. And it's still not exactly clear. But my advice, along with a lot of other people, is that if you've got a version 1 air unit or a Cadex Vista and it's sitting on the shelf, make sure that it's activated and that you've got version 1.00.0606 of the firmware, which is a known good version. But I've had a whole raft of questions about, do I need to do this in a quad? Do I need to have it connected to a flight controller? No, you don't. You can do it on the bench. So I'll very quickly show you how that works. Hello and welcome to the Welly Bloke channel. And this is YouTube. You know what to do. Subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this. To activate or upgrade the firmware on a Cadex Vista or a DJI Air unit, you don't need it connected to a quad, you don't need it connected to a flight controller, all you need to do is supply power and connect it to your PC. So if you've got a Cadex Vista, what you need to do is solder a couple of wires onto positive and ground, a red and a black, and I've also connected the antenna. Now these have got dynamic power management on the output, so you shouldn't really need to connect an antenna, but I'm just being cautious. Same goes for the DJI Air unit. This time you don't need to do any soldering. There's a cable that comes in the box, or it should come in the box anyway. Make sure that you've got your antennas plugged in. There's a camera on here, but on the Cadex Vista there's no camera. You don't need any flight controller or camera, that's fine. Then all you need to do is apply power to the red and the black. Do remember though that the air unit only supports 4S, so maximum of you know about 16 volts. You can do the same on the Cadex Vista. So let's get this powered up. This is where a bench power supply comes into its own. Yep, we've got a little red light there. So I can plug this in like that. And if we go over to our PC, there we go, it's detected the unit. It's doing its check and I've already done the upgrade on this, so we're on version 1.00.0606. But if you're out of date, then you can just upgrade and it'll have a list down here. Or if you haven't activated the unit, you will be prompted. Just go to DJI, set up an account, and you're done. So that's it, it's as simple as that. You can do the same thing with the air unit, but you just connect power to the red and black on here. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found that helpful, why not subscribe down here, or maybe buy me a coffee to support the channel. I'll see you next time.